Alrighty, let's head over to the 49ers now and talk about them. We know it's uh, we're we're still not sure what the heck is going on here. Is it an open quarterback competition? Um, Kyle Shanahan has been praising Jimmy Garoppolo, but everybody else has been praising Trey Lance. The defensive coordinator has been praising Trey Lance, and we're really not sure is this an open quarterback competition or not? Can Trey Lance play this season? Does he only play if Jimmy Garoppolo's there? So we're still we're we're getting conflicting reports here with really everything we. We've been reading. But Niners general manager John Lynch believes Trey Lance is bringing out the best in Jimmy Garoppolo. And yeah, that's why organizations and coaches bring in backups and bring in other quarterbacks to push the kind of starters because starters do kind of, you know, sometimes fall complacent. They're like, well, they're never going to bench me. Do you see the guy behind me? Psh, get a load of this guy. Get a load of the second string. Get a load of the back of that man. Psh. But if you bring in somebody competent, you use a high draft pick. Now, it, you know, oh my God, it reapplies the pressure. It reignites the flame under the starter to kind of get back to high levels of winning and staying healthy for Jimmy Garoppolo's case. So let's see what we get here uh, and see what uh, John Lynch says. And uh, let's see can uh, let's see if we get a little bit more information on whether this is a truly open quarterback, co open quarterback competition or not. So let's see what we get here. Niners general manager John Lynch again reiterated on Adam Schefter's podcast that the quarterback competition is bringing out the best in Jimmy G. Quote, Jimmy's a big time competitor and we haven't played a game yet, but in practice in the offseason and in practice in training camp thus far, he's playing his best football since he's been here and he's played a lot of good football. Just look at his record. People say, well, what do you do if they're both playing great? That's another great problem to have. It will deal with it when it comes. So that's unfortunate. We're Once again, we don't even know if it's an open quarterback competition. What happens if both quarterbacks are playing great? Well, that's a great problem to have, and we'll deal with it when it comes. So, all right. All right. Another quote here. He really is playing at a high level, and I don't want to talk about it too much as I'm doing so in front of millions of people, but it's something everyone's recognizing. He's really playing at a high level, and that's the type of competitor he is. That's what competitors do. When they're challenged, they rise to the occasion, and I think he's doing a great job of that. And everything has been praised for Jimmy Garoppolo ever since Trey Lance has been here, so I really am starting to wonder, is this an open, quarter or open quarterback competition or did the 49ers just draft this man to reignite the fire under Jimmy Garoppolo? Jimmy Garoppolo knows that he has to stay 100% healthy now. He knows he can't make mistakes or kind of be lackadaisical for a week or two weeks or even a practice. He needs to be on his A1 Tier 1 game. So what is the deal here with Trey Lance? Is he going to be kind of a Week 1 starter if he's up to shape? Will he take over in midseason when, you know, he gets, you know, comfortable, fully comfortable with the offense? Or is he just going to start if Jimmy Jimmy Garoppolo gets injured or if Jimmy Garoppolo is just playing like trash, which doesn't seem to be the case here. Because the general manager, the head coach, Kyle Shanahan, they've all been really praising Jimmy Garoppolo on how well he's looking. Just got to stay healthy. So still no kind of, you know, leaning one way or the other on who the starter is here. It seems like Jimmy Garoppolo is definitely going to be the week one starter, but what happens midseason? We don't know. All right, let's. Uh, we got uh, two more quotes here, so let's read the lead up. Here we go. So when a video of Lance making a jaw-dropping body contorting heave on the move for a touchdown goes viral, it undermines the entire quote, nothing to see here mantra Shanahan and the brass are trying to build around the rookie quarterback. Quote by John Lynch, quote, he looks tremendous, talking about Trey Lance. He really has. I think what's been most impressive about Trey, everyone wants to talk about physical traits, but the way he approaches his job, he's a pro in the truest sense. We've got a lot of guys who love the game and are willing to do the necessary things to prepare, and I think Trey really is an embodiment of that, and he's looking good on the field too. So once again, we're getting super high praise for Trey Lance, super high praise for Jimmy Garoppolo. We're hearing from Kyle Shanahan that it's not an open quarterback competition, and Jimmy Garoppolo is our starter 100%. We're hearing 
from writers in the NFL.com saying it's just a matter of time. We're hearing defensive coordinators saying, oh my God, this Trey Lance dude is something absolutely special. So I've got no read on this 49ers team. I would just, I think the safest bet is that Jimmy Garoppolo plays week one, but after week one, I think it's just really, it's it's a week by week basis, how they're feeling on these quarterbacks. And obviously it's really all about Jimmy Garoppolo's health. So let's go to DraftKings really quickly. Now that we know the bets are back for who's going to be the week one starter on these teams and see what kind of Trey Lance's odds for week one are because I really don't see Trey Lance being the week one starter. Like I said, after week one, who knows? Um, But week one, I think it's going to go to Jimmy G. So let's go to player futures, starting quarterbacks. And here we go. Trey Lance to start take this first snap for the 49ers in the season. Yes, is that plus 300? Don't see that happening. I don't think that's a solid bet to go into. Now, what is very interesting here is that he's plus 300 to be the starting quarterback, where Justin Fields is at plus 400. So it seems like, you know, if Trey Lance is definitely not in at plus 300, Justin Fields being at plus 400 really kind of tells us that Vegas believes that Justin Fields is definitely not being the starting quarterback, where obviously if you listen to the show, we say it basically every single day when we can, Justin Fields will be the week one starting quarterback and we love this bat uh, so freaking much. So Vegas, uh, not really on our side here, but we're looking to kind of bankrupt Vegas anyway. So, hey, there's got to be one winner, and hopefully it's us. So that's really interesting. Trey Lance plus 300 to be the starting quarterback this season. Um, and this, I just saw this as well. Um, they did put the odds for Jacob Eason for being the starting quarterback for the Colts. Uh, we just talked about that yesterday on the show where they weren't even listing him. Now they do list him and he is minus 150. Exactly what we're thinking. They're not going to go and trade for a quarterback. They're not going to go out and, you know, actively seek for a quarterback to replace Carson Wentz. They're going to rock with Jacob Eason um, as long as they need to until Carson Wentz comes back. So that seems to be uh, resolving itself. So thank you, Vegas. Thank you, DraftKings, for finally coming to your senses and putting the Jacob Eason odds exactly how they should be. Congratulations. All right. So that's uh, the quarterback battle. Trey Lance, just uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. We don't know what the hell is going on over there. <laughs> 